Hello and thank you for joining me. This is Stacy Johnson, owner and operator of SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And this video is part four of our four part video series that goes along with our AIA class, AIA documents and forms. And in this um, recording, we're gonna discuss the different document families. And uh, within the full set of construction documents, within our AIA documents and forms. And so what is a family? Well, a family is the way that they group the contracts together. And the most common uh, document is the A201, which is the design, bid, build uh, set of documents. It's where the owner, the owner's projects is divided into two parts. So it's the design portion with, between the architect and the owner, and then the construction portion between the owner and his contractor and then subsequently all the subs uh, that are hired as well. This is known as conventional family relationship where the owner hires the architect and the architect prepares the drawings and the specifications and the architect also assists the owner in getting all of the contractors hired to do the work. So the forms within this family are as follows. B101 is the owner architect agreement, B105, is the owner architect agreement when we have a very complex project. B104 is the abbreviated owner uh, architect agreement. And this also includes general conditions and that'll be important a little later. Uh, A101 is the owner contractor agreement. A102, owner contractor agreement with the cost of work, specifically as far as payment, the cost of work plus the GMP and then A103 is the owner contractor agreement with the uh, cost with no GMP. Okay, so among this family of documents, it should be noted that there is no direct contractual agreement between the architect and the contractor. So in order to take care of that, form A201 is an umbrella form that coordinates the responsibilities amongst all parties, including the architect and the contractors. So now let's talk about, um, let's talk about some of the uh, contracts, uh, some of the common forms that are in all of the families. Okay, so these sets are in many of the family of documents. So. Uh, A401 is the contractor subcontractor agreement, C401 architect consultant agreement, and these are all agreements between uh, as, as noted. So we we have an agreement between now the contractor and the subcontractor. We have agreement between the architect and any consultant that may be hired. C103 is the owner's direct consultant's agreement. A3 10 is for any surety bond, so all the particulars in, with respect to uh, the bid bonds. And then A312 are uh, with respect to performance and payment bonds. Okay, so, and it should be noted, of course, that any of these AIA documents can be used both in residential and commercial construction, and it is highly recommended that you do so, as opposed to using your own, right? So. Another set of family documents in a family, yeah, ones that they have for small projects. Okay, so just like any detailed set of plans, right? The more detailed the set, the more information you have. Well, when we have small projects, these are bare bone contracts and they're small, straightforward um, contracts for small, straightforward projects. They involve more risk, of course, because there's less wording, so less detail and they're stripped down to the essentials. So we have two forms and they're called the short form. A105 is the short form for the owner uh, and architect agreement. And B105 is the short form for the owner contractor agreement. So those are the family that's called the small family. Next, we're gonna talk about the CMA, which is a form of um, delivery of the project where the construction manager is the advisor. So CMA gives construction management advice through the design and the construction project process. So this delivery method, meaning how the project is uh, built or the way the project is gonna be built, 
It delivers increased expertise in managing the project from the start to finish. So this is a CMA, construction manager as advisor, um, set of documents when that is the delivery method for that project. So B-132, architect owner agreement. C-132, owner CMA agreement. A-103, owner contractor. A-232, the general conditions. A-401, contractor to subcontractor agreement. C-401, architect consultant agreement. And C-103, owner direct consultant agreement. And again, for the CMA family, where the contractor is both a contractor and acting as an advisor. The next set is CMC, where the contractor uh, construction manager is also the uh, constructor, they say, or the contractor. So CMC owner retains the construction manager who will provide pre-construction and construction management services. The construction manager has a responsibility over the construction work via direct contracts with subcontractors, so that's important. So the forms within this family, A, 201, general conditions with cost of work modification, C, 401, architect consultant agreement, C, 103, owner direct consultant agreement, and A, 401, contractor sub agreement. And there will be um, samples of all of these agreements on our website um, within the next few days, one at a time, under each heading. Next, <clears throat> the design build delivery family. So the owner enters in a contract with the design builder who is obligated to design and construct the project. And so if you are part of this, and this is beginning to be more popular, this should be the set of documents that you should see, sign, review. C441, Architect Consultant Agreement for Design Build. A141, Owner Consultant Agreement for Design Build. A143, Design Builder Architect Agreement. A142, Design Builder Contractor Agreement. And A441, Contractor Subcontractor Agreement for a design build project. A lot of families. Next, there are forms within the AIA documents, not only contracts, but there are also forms that assist in the uh, administration of the project and the management of the project. And those are the G forms specifically. And so G, G forms are their own special family. Okay, and these, this is a list of G forms and then there are also common forms within the G set. And it looks like the A441 is on there by mistake. So we're going to delete that one. So G701, change orders. G702, 703, payment applications and certificates. G704, certificate of substantial completion. G706A, Contractor's Affidavit of Release of Liens, and G709, Proposal Request, and delete that one. That's in a different family. And some common forms within the set, AIA Contracts and Documents, Common Forms, G714, Construction Change Directive, and that's used when some it's used in place of a change order. Change orders are used when all parties agree and they all sign, but sometimes you don't have time for that or the owner just says, I just want you to do it. I don't care if you agree, we'll hash out everything later. Well, that's when a construction change directive form is used and the information is, is uh, submitted that using that form. We all know what RFIs are, so that's G716. And as in our RFI class stated, you should be able to review your RFI and your contract. So this is what they're talking about, or I was talking about. All right, more common forms, A305, Contractor's Qualification Statement. You may have to submit that when you're working on state projects or projects for very large companies. B305, Architect's Qualification Statement. Same reason. A310, Bond Forms, Bid Bonds and A312, bond forms, performance bonds. Other family of documents that we won't give you actual 
numbers that are within the family, but these do exist. So forms are family that uh, are associated with integrated product project delivery, IPD, which is a collaborative project delivery approach. And this approach centers around sharing risk and among parties and responsibilities among the parties. So all the forms involved would involve all the parties, just like all of our other families. Interiors. This family of forms involves uh, the language when we are talking about FFEs, or furniture, furnishings, and equipment, procurement for tenant projects usually, and this family could also combine architectural interior design and construction services. So these are all families of documents that the AIA provides based on if that's your type of project. So international family of documents for projects that are in foreign countries and digital practice, a family of documents if you use a lot of uh, electri um, uh, moving data electrically or electronically, I should say, and uh, electrical or electronic signatures and that type of thing, then you'll use that set of documents. And then lastly, another family is for program management. This family of documents is used when the owner involves additional consultants, program managers, or design managers to assist with the program-wide design and construction issues. And last but not least of the set uh, of uh, master, of, is our master agreements. And so basically master agreements are similar to the conventional family group of agreements where uh, the conventional family is only for one project, where master agreements are for multiple projects or over periods of time or multiple work orders, where conventional family, again, is for one project at a time from beginning to end, where master agreements cover over a long period of time. So in our study guides there you will have all of the list of all of the master agreements and we'll go over them right now so types of master agreements you have the owner contract which is a121-2018 remember that's the addition year and so this is the standard form of master agreement between the owner and the contractor where work is performed under multiple work orders and then the work orders are A221. Okay, so owner contractor is A121 and A221. For agreements between the contractor and the subcontractor, we have A421 edition 2018. So this is the standard form of master agreement between the contractor and the subcontractor where work is performed under multiple work orders. And then the work order form itself is A422. And last but not least, Nope, not last. Owner, architect, and then architect consultant. Those additions are B121 of that series, I should say. B121 and B221 agreements between owners and architects. And architects and consultants are C421 and C422. And again, these are master agreements where the parties have agreed to perform work over a period of time, not project by project. So that is going to complete the fourth part of our discussion on AIA contracts. This discussed all of the different types of families and this is very important information will be included on the test and if you have any problems, any additional help you need, please sign up at the online office hours and I will be more than happy to assist. Thanks a lot and good luck with finishing the class and passing the test. See you next time.